we're going to be looking today at the Holosun 221G. Uh, that G stands for green laser. You can also get it in a red laser. And there it is. Uh, it comes with a really nice hard uh, case, kind of like a Pelican style. Uh, pretty good pressure switch. It uh, uses a crane adapter. I don't use it personally because I'm running a separate illuminator, so I do use a Surefire switch. And there's a little Allen wrench there. Um, it's got the uh, press button right there to activate it. I've got your turrets to adjust. Uh, they run opposite. And then uh, your laser's right there. Um, it adjusts both simultaneously. You've got your uh, different modes right here in the back for visible and infrared. I don't really, not really a big fan of the way the switch works. They're a little tight and I don't like it along the back. It's a little clumsy when you've got it mounted. So not that easy to get to, especially if you're wearing gloves or anything. Here's your crane hookup and a quick release lever. Uh, it's pretty pretty interesting the way it clamps down because it's got that little push button right there to release it which it can kind of be a little tough to get to sometimes uh, especially with the pressure switch not too far behind it. But uh, it's Picatinny rail uh, mount so pretty standard there. Snugs up real tight uh, no issues with any wobble or anything. And um, yeah so far so good. Uh, let's go take a look outside and uh, see how it runs in the daylight and at night. On low, it's really hard to see, so I had to move the laser around a little, as you can see, just so I could pick it up. Um, definitely, definitely not that good in low. Uh, high, uh, more visible for sure, so that's not too bad. All right, at night, here's the low. Not bad. And we're going to switch over to high. Can't tell much difference at this distance. And then uh, I heard something over here, so that's why I took my attention away. Creeping around. And uh, yeah, I just kept hearing it. And I could see some eyes glowing out in the distance. You can't really pick it up on this video. Uh, just on the other side of the pipe fence there behind the trees. Not the wood fence. And uh, turned out to be a uh, raccoon just checking me out, staring at me, and didn't seem to be uh, all that worried about me being there. So kind of interesting. Got a few of those around here. All right, let's go take a look at the uh, specs on it and the weight. All right, let's put it on our Accutech and see how much it weighs. It weighs more than the PEC-15, and it is smaller, but it's got a metal body, so that's one reason. Another interesting fact is it's got an I-67 rating, which means that you can submerge it for up to three feet for up to three minutes, so that's not too bad for civilian model. Well, that wraps up my review on the Hollow Sun 221G. And if you liked it, uh, please do put a like, comment, and share. And if you're not already a subscriber, please do so now. That helps us with the algorithm and gets, uh, gets this out to more people so uh, we can keep making these videos. And I do appreciate everybody's support and look forward to seeing everybody in the next video. Thanks.